Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about skip links. Skip links are a useful utility that allow keyboard users to skip past long lists of links. So just to illustrate, I'll go ahead and tap through this page here, which does not have any skip links. And if I wanted to get down to the actual content of the page, I have to press tab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 times before I move into the hero. And that's actually pretty minor compared to some websites. This doesn't have a lot of links in the header, whereas some will have a ton. And if the menu isn't accessible, then that means you end up having to tap through all the submenu links as well. Or rather, I shouldn't say if the menu isn't accessible, I should say if the menu's accessibility is implemented poorly, because if your dropdowns trigger automatically when you focus the parent links, you run into this trouble where you're pressing tab a bunch to get through all of the submenu items, even though you may not need to look at any of those items. In this case, where we do have a menu with reasonable accessibility, we're still tabbing quite a few times to get down to the actual page. So we can fix that with a skip link. So all the work around this is gonna happen in your main template in Oxygen. The main template is the one that contains your header and footer. In this example, I don't have a footer yet because we're slowly building the site out, but I do have a header. Now, before we do our skip link, we also need to make an adjustment here to our inner content element. So this is how your main template should be structured in Oxygen. You should have your header, an inner content element, and then your footer if you have a footer. But your inner content element generally should be set to the main tag, not a div, not anything else. Main tag should be what you use because it's going to contain your main content. And here's why that's important. Let me go ahead and pull up a screen reader here. And with a screen reader, there's a shortcut that shows you something called landmarks. Let me refresh this page. And if we hit that shortcut, we get a list of landmarks. If we press the up and down arrows, we can navigate through these landmarks. So we have the banner, we have our navigation element, our main navigation element, and then now because we changed the tag of our inner content, we have our main landmark, which if we hit that, it goes ahead and moves us into the main. So that's super helpful for people that are using a screen reader that need to navigate by landmarks. But the problem is adding that main tag doesn't allow us to skip to that content using a skip link. So we need one other thing here. We need to actually wrap our inner content element in a div. Now this won't change anything visually, it just alters the markup a little bit. And then what we need to do is give this div an ID of main. So you can just highlight the ID there, delete everything out, and then type main. Now if we save and look on the front end in the dev tools, we should see that main ID. There it is, and inside of that is our actual main element. Now, if we look at our screen reader readout with our landmarks here, let's go ahead and open that up. Even though we wrap that in a div, we still have our main element here. So everything's working as we expect, but now we need a way to skip to that main wrapper that we just created, this div. So we're gonna add a skip link. And all this is, is a simple text link with a bit of styling, but it does need to go right at the very top of your structure on your main template. So usually these say something like skip to main content, but it can say whatever is appropriate for your site. You want it to be descriptive enough that folks that are relying on this know what it's gonna do. And note that it's not always screen reader users that are using this, it's anyone that navigates via the keyboard. So that's an important distinction as well. But the thing about skip links is not everyone needs them. So if you're not navigating via the keyboard, you don't really want this to be visible. So we're gonna add some styles. Let's go to advanced size and spacing. Let's just add some padding, something like eight pixels top and bottom and 32 left and right to give it kind of a better aspect ratio. We're gonna give it a background color of some kind of a gray here. And then because I know we're gonna have our WordPress admin bar getting in the way on the front end, I'm gonna give it some additional top padding. We'll just give it 40 pixels so we can see it when it pops up, but normally you wouldn't do this. So disregard that if you're not testing around the WordPress admin panel. So then what we wanna do is we wanna make this visible only 
if it's needed by the user who's visiting our site. And the way we can do that is we can go to advanced layout and we can set position absolute. And then we can set it to something like negative 10,000 pixels and then zero pixels on the top. Now what we need to do is we need to make it come into the screen when it has focus from being tabbed into. So we can go to state and we can add a new state here. We can do focus. And then here we can set it to position absolute, top zero and left zero. So let's go ahead and test that out on the front end. We should refresh, we should see no change, but when we start tabbing in, once we get past the admin bar here, which won't be visible for most visitors of your site, then we should get our skip link, which we do. We have an issue here with Z index though. It's not quite showing up where we want it. It's underneath this top bar. So let's go in here and let's go to the original state and let's set the Z index to something like a thousand. It doesn't really need to be that high, but just for safety's sake, we can do that. Now, if we tab back to the beginning of our page, we have our skip to main content link. And note that it does have a focus indicator around it. You never really wanna mess with that. You wanna let the browser do its thing with the focus indicator. Don't try to hide the outlines or anything like that. And if you do change them, make sure you add your own focus state indicator because keyboard users need to know when something's focused. So if we hit this though, nothing's gonna happen because we didn't actually add a link to it. So the last step we need to do here is we need to add a link. And in this case, we can use the ID of that div that we put around our inner content element. So we can do pound main. Now what we should see is instead of having to tab through everything, let's get past the admin bar here, we get our skip link. And if we hit that, it moves us down to the main element, but also another important test is a skip link's no good if it doesn't also move focus. So when I press tab, the next thing that's focused should be the first focusable element inside my main element. So if I hit tab, we can see that that is the case. It moves focus to the button. Now, because we're talking accessibility, what I like to do is with anything like this, I like to test it with a screen reader. So let's see how this thing reads out. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the screen reader and you'll be able to see the readout on screen, though you may not be able to hear it. Let's see here. So we're gonna go ahead and tab through and we'll see how this reads out our skip link. Perfect. Because we wrote skip to main content as the link text, we don't need any extra attributes or anything to explain to users what this link is gonna do. It tells both sighted users and screen reader users exactly what it's gonna do when they trigger it. Skip links are not overly complicated, but they are important to implement correctly. And that about covers how to set up a skip link on your Oxygen site. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thanks for watching.